And now it's time for more of Southern California's Sports Fishing Voice. Let's talk hookup. This portion of the show is sponsored in part by Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup. Shimano Rods and Reels, fish with the best, Shimano. And by Yamaha Outboards, official motor sponsor of Let's Talk Hookup. Here we go. Another great hour of Southern California's sports fishing voice. Let's Talk Hookup. Here's Pete Gray, Rock Cod, Rick Mexa, and Corey Sandin. Welcome back. Hour number two. Let's talk hook up here on the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. And, man, Doug said it best. How the, where did the first hour go by? <laughs> that, was, that was wild. We're having a great time in here talking with the man, the tackle expert himself, Doug Kern, a fisherman's landing tackle. Lots of great fun going on this morning and a busy day on the phones. And we're giving away a $100 gift card to fisherman's landing, man. I want to go in there and buy a, a new trank. Come on. I know, baby. right? Yeah. Come on in. I I'll put I, line on it for you. I think I could use a 150 <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Hey, so if you want to join us, 213-432-1090, or you can text us via the app. We're having so much fun, and lines are full, and texts are loading up, and have nothing but a good time. When we were talking about the tranks, I chuckled thinking, because Doug and I are, you know, so so think the same way. When when that first caller was like, I have a tranks 200, and I'm thinking about fishing calico spotties, and Doug's like, yeah. eh, that might be a little small for the calico. And, and I, because, you know, I'm the same, like, I'm a, I'm a 300 calico guy, and I look over yeah. at Corey, and Corey's like, that's the, you know, I mean, that's yeah. the 50 wide right there. I mean, you know, exactly. maybe I'll, maybe we'll get up to that. You know, I just you know I know Corey catching 30 pound yellows on a tranks 200. You know, like yeah, right. calico all day. Like that's a that's, that's your size, right? Shallow water rock fishing yeah. too. Yeah. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Give give me give me the 200. I've had a lot of five pound reds on it on a on no a 200. That's yeah. legit. Seriously, cool. a, a lot. Yeah. Like, with with a super light rod, we were, the, I mean, how fun is that? The rod you were describing for bay bassing yeah. is exactly yeah. the style for shallow water rock fishing, like a like a sixty gram jig, yep. and yep. 150, yep, hundred and fifty, two hundred feet of water at the at the absolute most, having yeah. a good time fishing real skinny power pro, so it sinks real good. Yeah. Yeah, dig it. Oh, I'm into it. I like that, man. That's Bring fun. it on. Yeah, no doubt. Well, hey, another great bud of the show with a very busy promotion, and I'm sure that they were very busy on the phones. Is our buddy Mike Lum with Captain Rollo's Kids at Sea. Good morning, Mike. Hey, Mike. Hey, good morning. Hey, hey good morning, you guys. Um, boy, what a great show. Doug. Doug is such a wealth of knowledge. Uh, I think we should recruit him. He should be on the show more frequently. <laughs> well, agreed. I'm down. <laughs> Done. Hey, guys, uh, we had a great day yesterday selling Reel a Week tickets. You know, the Friends of Rollo uh, uh, organization has Captain Rollo Kids at Sea trips going out now. Guys, seems like daily the last week. We had lots of trips go out last week and lots of happy kids uh, building lifetime memories. And uh, in order to keep those trips rolling, we need funding. And the, one of the ways we uh, create funding is Reel a Week, and that's a promotion we do annually where we give away 25 really high-end reels over 25 weekly drawings. And it's a fun event. Uh, the first drawing is going to take place, place uh, July 16th this year, and then it will occur weekly out till the end of December. Uh, tickets are $25 a piece. You're in all the drawings until you win. And um, and so that's a that's a worthwhile and fun way to support the Captain Rollo Kids at Sea program. We have a promotion that we kicked off yesterday, where if you buy four of those tickets, one hundred dollars, you will get a fifth entry ticket for free. So you'll have five chances at the weekly drawings, and you'll be entered into a special drawing, which is going to happen on Wednesday of this week, um, to win a two-speed accurate. 600 Valiant Reel. So that's about a $700 reel that is going to be given away to only the people that buy four tickets or more from yesterday through Wednesday. So great opportunity to win a very, very nice reel. At the same time, have plenty of entries into the uh, weekly drawings that start in July, and most importantly, uh, a great way to help us fund more of these kids' fishing trips. I got to so yes, say, Mike, we, we get to witness these trips leaving on the dolphin out of Fisherman's Landing, and um, 
you know, when you actually witness the experience that these kids are having, and I don't think that people realize how much effort you put in and what the result is. I mean, you and, and uh, the Rollo organization are creating, like you say, lifetime memories that these kids would never have had a chance to go do. And, um, you know, we're just so appreciative of everything that you do, and uh, what a great organization. It's, it's amazing, Doug. There are children within the inner city within 10 miles of the coastline some of them have never seen the ocean no that's right it's it's amazing yes and it, and having friends of rollo captain rollo's kids at sea yep. and bringing these kids and introducing them to a quote unquote fishing landing and yeah. having them go out for the day of their life well and you know how we feel about sea lions to them that is a it's an exciting a adventure experience like yes. they see you know wildlife and and get to you know smell the salt air and see the the sights and and it's just uh, you know, we take uh, maybe a little bit for granted something that's so special. I completely agree. And the other thing that I like so much about Captain Rollo's is, like you say, that that is, you know, I mean, that's the pinnacle and so cool and such a an awesome opportunity to provide for somebody that hasn't, you know, that's lived that close to the ocean and never seen it. But it's not just that. It's it's so non-discriminatory in the best way. The most affluent neighborhood or the most down on your luck, whatever it is, that part makes zero difference. You get a group of kids together, we're going fishing. School, yep. Boy Scouts, church, family, neighborhood, whatever. You get it together, Rollo's sending them fishing. Yes. I love it. Well, Mike, it's a... Exa- Go ahead. I was going to say that's exactly the purpose of the program is getting those kids fishing. All the rest of the stuff we do to raise money is fun, and uh, we all participate, and it's greatly appreciated. But at the end of the day, the kids win with every single ticket that gets purchased or every single spot on Tuna Wars that gets purchased. It's all about raising money to take the kids out. Yep, no doubt about it. Well, well said. Well, uh, promotion sounds phenomenal. We obviously talked about it also yesterday. I know Tim has been very busy, but what a, what a great deal with Real a Week. And I mean, they're they're just. I, I know that a lot of people bought tickets. I'm sure they did. But what a good percentage you have of winning this drawing because it's just Saturday to Wednesday. That's it. Only the people that day have an opportunity to win a seven hundred dollar accurate two speed reel. I, I'm I'm so stoked. One more time, give us the info. If somebody wants to buy tickets for this special side drawing for Real Week. Okay, the way you get tickets, call 951-264-7382. 951-264-7382. Leave your name and telephone number uh, if Tim doesn't pick up, and he will call you back in the order that the calls come in. Or send him an email, win at rollokids.org, and all he needs is a name and phone number, and he'll call you back and get these tickets out to you. And uh, when, uh, uh, excuse me, yesterday through Wednesday, you have to participate in this special accurate two-speed drawing. And what you said, Rick, is right. The, the odds of winning that are incredible. We had several people yesterday that had bought tickets on earlier promotions that rebought yesterday because they wanted <laughs> yeah, to get involved in that. So, compelled to throw another yeah. one in there, totally. I'm- Absolutely. So we appreciate you guys, and thanks for all the support. And uh, we look forward to uh, seeing you in the upcoming Tuna Wars. we got that coming up. The reception is going to be on uh, June the 23rd over at Dana Landing. It's free. Anybody that wants to come out and meet the Wicked Tuna captains and enjoy the festivities, please come on out. starts at 4 o'clock on June the 23rd at Dana Landing. Great job, Mike. Appreciate everything you do for us. Appreciate all the hard work you put in, and we'll look forward to talking to you again real soon. Take care. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate that. And we're going to continue on talking to another person who I know uh, Captain Rollo Kids to see very important to and probably going to tell us about some really good fishing is our buddy Frank Lepresti <clears throat> is online. Hi, Frank. Good morning. Good morning, Frank. Well, good morning, Rick. How are things going? We're, we're doing great. I mean, uh, we, we got a... We got a schlep of a guest this morning, but you know we're getting we're getting through it. We getting got uh, we got Doug Kerr and the tackle guru himself. We're talking fishing and all this big bluefin, and obviously you heard Mike talking the Captain Rollins kids promotion. There's lots going on, and we're just having a lot of fun this morning. That's great. That's great. Well, good morning, Doug. Good hey, morning. I'm out here on the I'm out here on the RP. Last night was uh, kind of tough fishing for everybody. It was uh, the fish were around but wouldn't bite when you would. Uh, Get a school under you, they'd lay under you, but it was hard to get a bite. Really? And uh, most of the boats had anywhere from, oh, I would say from six to 20 fish. And that was, that was it. 
and it was uh, mostly that 40 to 60. And now this morning we're seeing the bigger fish. So hopefully tonight <clears throat> it'll start biting, but they were definitely acting like bluefin last night. The other thing I wanted to mention is we have some openings on the Shogun on some two-day trips coming up here in the near future. You can find them on our website. And also, I don't know how we did it, but we had a space on the uh, on the uh, Polaris Supreme. He has a three-day trip that has about nine openings on it, leaving December 18th, not December, I'm sorry, leaving June 18th. Three-day trip, they just get on our website. They can find that three-day trip on the Paris Supreme with uh, nine openings, okay? Well, I'm, I'm assuming the reason you thought December is probably because that's probably when the next opening is <laughs> after this June trip. I mean, it's a rare opportunity to fish with Captain Aliar on that beautiful boat. You you guys have put so much work into it, and, man, the you know, Aliar speaks for himself, tremendous fisherman, and like you say, this this really is. It's an it's an opportunity to get on a boat with, with you know, that, that just doesn't have a lot of spaces to go fishing. All right, very good. Well, I wanted to get that out there, and uh, I'll surely uh, uh, get you a report there as soon as I can if uh, fishing starts picking up. Uh, we've stopped on three schools already this morning. None of them have bit yet. But okay. Hopefully soon this afternoon. All right. Take care, you guys. We're, we're standing. You. We're standing by. Appreciate it, Frank. Thanks for the report. Get after them and uh, get those things biting for us, man. We uh, we need we need the good word. Thanks, Frank. Appreciate that. Well, phones are packed. So are the texts, Corey. We had a great text come through. Uh, this one says, great show, guys. Always appreciate the knowledge that Doug brings to the table. My question for Doug is, with the smaller knife jigs and Colt snipers that seem to be being used for the fish, have there been a, uh, for being used for the fish that have been higher in the water columns? Can you talk a little bit about those style of jigs? Uh, also, can you tell us what's been working best, and is it important to be upgrading the hooks on our smaller jigs? That's all from Dan and Pomona. Yep, so that's a very pertinent uh, question for what's going on right now. And if you're going to be climbing on one of these trips, um, the word that I would think would be the most important is variety. So uh, a big part of the fishing that we're doing does involve the smaller jigs. And, uh, you know, if you're hooking the, the 40 to 70 pounders, it's ideal for that. Um, we're talking about, you know, minimum of 100 gram and on up to 200 gram jigs. Um, you definitely want to have an upgraded hook, upgraded split rings as well does you no good to put a, a four extra strong hook on there and then, you know, have your split ring straighten out. And then uh, you do want to have some kind of a fluorocarbon leader, not so much for the invisibility, but more for the abrasion resistance. Those bluefin have teeth. And uh, on those jigs, probably around a 100-pound test, it only needs to be about two feet long. It's just if they suck the jig down, which those smaller jigs, they definitely will suck them down. Uh, you want to have that abrasion resistance. And, um, you know, if you start hooking the bigger fish on that uh, type of jig, it's it's tough to fish those jigs on the super heavy gear. Um, you know, you've got to be able to cast. Uh, that. You know, that Tranks 500 is a, a wonderful reel for that type of fishing. Um, and, uh, you know, if you can get away with, uh, you know, maybe a Talica 12, something like that, where you've got the two-speed feature, depends on how good those fish are biting. If, if they're biting real well, uh, you don't need much of a cast. You can fish vertically. But a lot of times they are, they are up on the surface or in the upper water column. Uh, and if you're drifting, um, you need to be able to cast downwind so that by the time that jig gets into the, the zone of, you know, maybe they're 100 feet or something like that, um, you know, you're more starting to get to that vertical point, and then you can work the jig um, back up through the, the school. Um, so perfectly said. Yeah. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's it, man. It is. That's it. Well, hey, appreciate the uh, the text very much, as always. And, uh, man, that's that's why we have Doug on here. I that's know. It. Why don't we jump, it all. Why, why don't we jump back into the phones, Corey? Let's do it. How about uh, Alex? Alex from San Carlos. Good morning, Alex. Hey, Alex. Hey, good morning, Good morning, guys. Alex. So I got a question. Uh, I got cool. You guys hear me? Loud and clear, buddy. We got you. Cool. Okay, cool. Um, so I got two questions. Um, I was thinking about changing out my line on my Trinx 500 uh, to like a four strand, like a Max Quattro. I just don't know how well it casts versus like a traditional like eight strand or nine strand braid. 
And then the other question would be, you know, like we always go and we do all of our research and try to figure out which reel we want, and we finally take it out. And then uh, once we take it out, they ask, which braid do you want? And then it's always like a kind of start to sweat because you're like, well, which braid do I actually want? So what's like the proper range to actually pick for, for a reel? So if I have like a Talica 12, and if I know I'm not going to fish anything more than like a 50 pound liter, should I get 50 pounds? Should I go up to 80? Like what's the, what's the rule of thumb for that? Such a what a great question, question yeah. Alex. First of all, um, they shouldn't be asking you what brand you want or what type of line. If, if you're uncertain, they should, they should be recommending the proper line, uh, by asking you what your situation is. Um, you know, what, uh, real, what type of fishing trips you go on. Um, but to answer your first question on that, uh, Tranks 500, I do like 80 pound Max Quattro for the style of fishing we're doing now. Max Quattro is the diameter of 65 with literally this strength of, of 80 pound. It's the only line that I've ever been aware of where they actually have pulled that off. Usually they just take a, a you know thinner line and call it 80 pound because technically it has a tensile strength of 80 pounds. And it's super smooth too. Yes. Like it is a very smooth line. Um, so the castability on that, I've, I've had no problem with that. It casts quite well. Um, so that would kind of be for most situations my go-to. If you know if there's a situation where you need more line and not as much strength, you could even go down to 65 on that reel. But the go-to for our type of bluefin fishing that we're doing now, and and even surface iron yellowtail fishing, you know that type of thing, we usually would go with 80 pound test. Um, for a, a two-speed like a Talica 12, um, you know if you're going to use a 50 pound top shot i still recommend the 80 pound it's very thin diameter it's going to tie a good connection you're going to have plenty of line on there uh, you're probably going to get you know between four and five hundred yards of line on there with the 80 pound quattro and um that's a lot of line it, it, it is yeah, for sufficient. most types of fishing i yeah. mean you, you can catch your 100 pound plus tuna on that yeah um but uh, you are going to find that the castability is not quite as easy on those two speed reels They're just a little bit more weight in the spool get you know kind of wants to overrun a little bit more so that for casting applications that tranks 500 you go to for more vertical applications i'd always go with the two speed like that there it is nicely said yeah alex appreciate it very much and like said just get with the guy that's right and they're going to pick that situation <clears throat> you know because everybody's situation is different you know let them let them figure out what you're going to do the most of and that doesn't mean it's going to be one dimensional but let's gear the line towards what you're going to be doing the most often and there's nothing wrong with like i love the standard power pro for me inshore yes i love the standard power pro it's a little rougher but it's to me, for for me in the inshore making a million casts, mm-hmm. it has longevity of life. It it it. I, and it's like I, a, I don't know the right way to say it. It just OG Power Pro is like a good pair of jeans. Like it just yeah. gets better as it gets broken in. It does. And, and like that's for sure. And then like you covet it. You know what I mean? Like yeah. Like I've had you know I've had Power Pro on a spool for for years, and then you know some X factor happens. Like I you know I got hung up and I got rubbed it on the side of the boat where like. Now I've got a bad spot that's too far in, and I get so bummed. Like it's only going to cost twenty, thirty bucks to put a new line on this reel. It has nothing to do with the cost. Like I've, I've, this line is so worn and broken, and it's been through the level line and over the guide so many times that it's just that it, it fishes so nice. I so, love it. So there's kind of you know the Max Quattro being super smooth and a smaller diameter for some. That's exactly the way to go. They're not making a million casts. They're like like you said, Doug fishing bluefin and doing that. But that that dude that. Yeah, when you're actually casting, like you're saying... A million casts going through the guides, like Rick said... For me, the standard Power Pro, a little bit rougher. It's a kelp cutter too. Like it, yep. oh, yeah. it's that that little bit of roughness sliding through sure. the kelp is like a saw blade. And I I love I love casting super slick version 2.0. Super yeah. soft on the fingers. It's a great live bait slide line. There's a lot of options. Like just like you said, I mean just just of Power Pro. Think about the original Power Pro that Corey's talking about. The super slick, yeah. the depth hunter, the depth hunter offshore, the color changing lines. If you're a jig guy max quattro if you want a bunch of line different colors i mean there's there's a ton of options that exist so let's make sure that it's the right thing for you 
My head's spinning already. I like, I like it. Well, speaking of your head spinning, we're about to talk to the guy that does that to just about everybody, and it's our fishdope.com reporter, your saltwater guy. Oh, we've got him on there hold. The man and the catch report is sponsored by the Fish Pros of Fisherman's Processing in San Diego, where you get a premier processing experience. Check out the new and easier online system to book your processing for your long-range trips. Now with the addition of the uh, new team members, Fisherman's Processing stays far ahead of the rest, more same-day capacity, and the finest customer service. You can stop by their location in Old Town on Taylor Street, or you can check them out at Fisherman'sProcessing.com and make sure you make your reservation today, and we've got the man. There he is, Dave Hansen, your saltwater guide. What's up, Dave? Good morning, Dave. Good morning. Can you guys hear me? Loud and clear, man. We're waiting. Loud and clear. Waiting to hear it, buddy. <laughs> Good morning, Doug. Good morning, Rick and Corey. Corey, Calico bass, calico bass, calico bass. It's really, 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 really good right now. Up and down the coast, I had some members of my call me yesterday and say, Dave, how do you get through the calicos? I'm like, what? I, I never. What do you mean? How do you get through them? What are you talking about? Every bait, it's a calico. And a lot of 15 to 20 inch fish everywhere. The guys fish the pipe up there at, uh, Point Furman, just below Trump's golf course, there's a pipe there. They, they said it didn't matter what depth they were in, it was full speed, all that. He said he had five fish over 20 inches, and he's in the star wow. tournament, so he got five tickets in the box yesterday. Pretty cool. But uh, over at Catalina, same problem. They got some live squid. Nacho had live squid for the last couple of days, so everybody went out there looking for white sea bass and yellowtail, but the calico bass, Corey, are too aggressive. These I guys can't it. get their bait. <laughs> That's so rad. But they're all calling me up going, I can't get my bait through them. That water on the coast, like Willie was saying, it kind of spun out the red tide a little bit. And this goes from your house, Corey, five tanks and green tanks. Full speed yesterday, our members were showing us pictures. Couldn't get through the calico bass to try to catch anything. Oh, Just as man. fast as you could get your bait in the water. Mission Bay has some uh, anchovies in the bait. Ooh, so yes. that made it really incredible at five tanks and green tanks. You throw a handful of that over the side. They said they were cartwheeling everywhere. Oh, my oh, God. I want it. So much fun. Uh, just my wife Kelly and I we were watching all the posts come through yesterday and when Kelly's like can we just go up and go fishing all she wants to do is catch a calico bass she's tired of catching rooster fish every day <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't blame her man there's nothing like good bass fishing well Dave if somebody wants to keep in touch with the best of what's going on everything that you do the how to the tips the game plan everything at your saltwater guide how do we find you gang you can check me out at your saltwaterguide.com and Ricky there's really good yellowtail fishing at Clemente right now. A couple of the boats had 40 plus, or 30 plus fish yesterday. Wow. There's all that, it's from anywhere from like 5 pounds to 30 pounds. That sounds so like Clemente. There's all kinds of stuff going on and and we all know about the blue fin. Clemente's so wild that you could have those two fish hanging at the exact same time, too. Crazy. You know, like a, a, a shaker to a lifetime trophy, like it could happen at the same time. That's a, that's such a great place. Well, well, a great report, Dave, as always. We sure appreciate it. And I hope you and Kelly are able to get up here and get on this bass fishing soon because I know how much you like it. Well, I'll be in there. Remember, you got to take the day off next Saturday, Rick. I'm coming. <laughs> Can't wait, man. It's going to be a wild one. <laughs> Boy, that got Rick quiet quick. Buckle up for safety. I, I, well, I, what I was checking to think was when we left for sitcom, like, am I going to be safe? Like, no, well, we don't leave till Sunday. It's it's about to be game on. I'm going to have to, you know, I'm gonna have to make sure I have my helmet ready. Dave, sure appreciate you, buddy. Right, Lots you of fun. Can't wait. Next weekend, we're going to have Captain Dave Hansen, your saltwater guide. Yeah. In the world studio. headquarters. Is there enough room in here? That's what I want to know. We're going to figure yeah. it out, man. I don't know if my head will fit in there or not. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Appreciate All right, you guys. Talk to you next week. See you, buddy. Bye. Oh, it's right. such a fun report. That man. it is. Oh, oh yeah. God. Yeah, Dave does. Does yeah, there's no one else? Thank God. And it's <laughs> the one. <laughs> it's brought to us by Terrafin Sea Service Temperature Charts, and you can focus your fishing on the most productive areas by using Terrafin Sea Surface Temperature. 
They have a uh, temperature, chlorophyll, currents, and more. And uh, with Terrafin Mobile, you can access your charts on your phone or on your mobile device. Check Terrafin.com for more information. That's it. When we come back, we got more Let's Talk Hookup coming your way. More of your phone calls, more great info. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. The fish are biting, and it's time to go. Hi, this is Ben, and you will see me at my dad's shop, Dana Landing, in Mission Bay. Or maybe in front of the shop on my kayak. It doesn't matter if you are out there on a kayak with me, on your boat, headed out on a sport boat. Dana Landing has everything you need. We call it the one-stop shop for a great day on the water because it truly is. Food, bait, tackle, beverages, and more. Our tackle shop, headed by John, is certainly one of the best. For freshwater tackle, nothing beats East County Bait and Tackle. These guys have the best rods and reels and the hottest lures and live bait. Our newest shop is Lemon Grove Bait and Tackle with a great stock of both fresh and saltwater tackle right in the heart of Lemon Grove. ECBT is at the end of the 67 freeway on Maple View and Lakeside. Lemon Grove Bait and Tackle, 94 to Broadway in Lemon Grove, and Dana Landing is next to the Dana Lawn Tramp in Mission Bay. Check out danalanding.com for more details. Good morning, anglers. This is Bob Cook, captain of the Fat Tuna from the hit Nat Geo television show, Wicked Tuna. The tuna are biting in San Diego, and right now, I would like to invite you to come fishing with me on the Liberty for the annual two-day Tuna Wars trip on June 25th and 26th. This trip is a wonderful opportunity to support Friends of Rollo, as all the proceeds raised benefit the Rollo program to take more kids fishing. If you would like to join me on this adventure, please contact Howard at RolloKids.org for more information or visit RolloKids.org. If you can't make the trip, plan on attending the captain's reception on Sunday, June 23 at Dana Landing, where you can meet me as well as Captain Dave Marciano and Nancy Marciano of the Hard Merchandise. The three of us are looking forward to meeting you and sharing this great evening. See you all soon. Everyone has their go-to fishing spot. My spot is Kingfisher Charters in Sitka, Alaska. Rock Cod Rick here to say if you're looking for the ultimate Alaska experience and the best value in Alaska, it's Kingfisher Charters. Owner Seth Bone and his crew consistently deliver deluxe accommodations, the finest food, world-class fish processing, and top-of-the-line fishing experience. We've literally sent hundreds of our listeners to Kingfisher, and they all can't wait to go back. Most Alaska resorts make big promises, and they don't deliver, or they'll nickel and dime you to drive up the cost, but not Kingfisher. Everything is included. Your license, fish processing, super deluxe accommodations, amazing food, airport transfers, your gear, literally all you need to bring is your layer clothing and Kingfisher covers the rest. They also have the finest boats and charter captains in Sitka, all for the ultimate value. Take it from me, book your trip to Kingfisher Charters and you'll thank me. Kingfisher Charters, 800-727-6136 or check kingfishercharters.com. For quality, the Islander out of Fisherman's Landing is a favorite among anglers. But Islander Charters is much more than great fishing. The quality of the captains and crew, as well as the great meals and service, speak for themselves. Comfortable staterooms, a super clean and well taken care of boat, are just a few of the reasons the Islander is so popular. The Islander specializes in one and a half to five day fishing. Experience the Islander difference. Visit islandersportfishing.com. All right, welcome back to Let's Talk Hook Up. That man having so much fun in studio with Mr. Doug Kern, our tackle guru. We are he, having fun, aren't we? Yeah. It's a lot of fun. We're giving away a hundred dollar gift card too to fish. Yes, we are. We doubled up this time. I know. It. I'm so excited. And I, well, I hope I hope that I'm there the day that you come in for your shopping spree if you win that hundred bucks because that's always a lot of fun. Well, speaking of a lot of fun, Doug, I know this is some place that you you like a bunch. We're gonna head way up north where we're gonna be next weekend. A week from today is the start oh. of our big Let's Talk Hook Up Fisher trip to kingfisher charters my favorite trip of the year and we've got the man seth bone is on the line good morning seth can you hear me there hey there you hey. are sorry seth good morning buddy well we're uh oh we're really, hey we're really excited we've been talking about it and been a week from today we cannot wait to come visit you buddy 
Yeah, we're really excited to see you guys too. It's coming right up. I can't believe it. Yeah, this uh, season has gone by fast, and you know we talked to you a few weeks back, kind of about the uh, the prognosis. And I, I know the fishing is great because we have several people, you know, customers of ours, and even employees of ours that have already been to Kingfisher and have had some great fishing. And sounds like this season is off to a, a really, really good start. Yeah, it is. The fishing's been fantastic, and we're saving the best weather for when you guys come up because I know it's Pete's year and Pete it always lines out the good weather for us so we're super looking forward to that. <laughs> well that sounds good to us man that's always a always a fun part and you know you you guys just do such a tremendous job I know uh you know Doug you were there with us uh, uh you know just that a uh, couple seasons back and it's just such a it's such a special place the you know picturesque the crazy good fishing the full service that Kingfisher provides it's a very unique experience. Yeah, the fishing is is a part of it, but the experience of being up there, it's just such a beautiful, comfortable, relaxing place to be. And I I was thinking just a couple days ago, you know, I kind of got that feeling like this is the time it happens. I'm kind (laughs) of bummed I'm not going, but, you know, can't do everything every year. But I definitely will be back soon, maybe maybe next year. You've always got next year, right? (laughs) Are there openings for next year? Yeah, I, I, I think there are. Yeah, I don't have the calendar in front of me, but uh, I believe there are some openings for, for next year's trip. Yeah. Even yeah. if there's not openings on this trip, I mean, you know, you can just go up there on your own. It's, it's really fun to go with the Let's Talk hookup group. It, it really is special. But, uh, you need to hang out with Rick for, for a week. Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, I don't know about that part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Seth, Seth, we're just so excited, and it, it's going to be a blast. And, you know, how has the season been going this year? I mean, things have, uh, things have been off to a great start. Paul, one of our uh, one of our guys that we work with every day at the landing, he came back from a trip and was just raving about it. They had, you know, limits limits every day, and dude, he had a couple of black cod that were over twenty pounds. What? They had God. big short rakers. They had their salmon done every morning. I mean, he, you know, it, it just it's like a broken record when you talk kingfisher about how great the fishing is. But you know, as a whole, how have things been going now that uh, now that we're into June and rolling steady? It's it's been great. It's been great right from the jump. Um, yeah, in fact, uh, I was just talking to Heath. They, they, we had a really nice day, uh, day before yesterday. Yeah, yesterday wasn't bad either, but two days ago it was bluebird, sunny, 65 degrees, calm, just couldn't dream up a better day. And he said the black cod fishing was just ridiculous. You know, he oh said that just, as soon as, it, as soon as your rig would hit the bottom, you know, of course you have a two, two hook, uh, rig and it would just have two black cod on it immediately. And he said one time he, uh, they brought up only one, so they're kind of bummed they had missed their streak of two every drop. But the other side, the other rod came up and it had three black cod on two, on two hooks. <laughs> and Come they, on. Were, they were all three. Yeah, so they kept the streak alive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's right. so he rad. They kept it. <laughs> yeah, but no, it's been, it's been excellent. Excellent for kings, excellent for halibut. Uh, like I said, the black cod, he said he hadn't never seen black cod fishing quite that just off the hook. And it was just, you know, they were just really hungry and all the boats went out and they all just, you know, got limits easily and, and, and kings, you know, and some halibut and some, you know, everything. Yeah. Just a, a, an amazing, amazing day. And that's, you know, the weather hasn't been that bluebird every day here, but so the cool. fishing has just been fantastic. And, and that black cod, it, it is something special, not to be confused with the black rockfish, which is also great and also good eating and also fun. But I mean, that, that, that black cod is a very, you know, it's a, it's a, Cool fish to catch, but it's very special on the dinner table. And you guys uh, often treat guests to an hors d'oeuvres of uh, of black cod. And like all of a sudden, as soon as that plate comes around, everybody realizes the next day, like, oh, I, w- I want to go fishing for this. Like that's a that's a very special fish on the table. Yeah, that's that's what I had for dinner last night, and, and I never get tired of it. It's, it's so good. The, the, one of the best things from the ocean for sure. Well, speaking of the best things, Kingfisher man, you guys just do such a great job, and we we cannot wait to come with you. And it always blows me away. At how smooth you guys seem to make everything run. I mean, you, you know, for those that haven't been, I mean, it's just the second that you arrive in the airport, your your crew is standing by to help you with bags and help you get to the lodge and licensing. Like just every step of the way, you guys have been doing it for so long, you just totally have it wired, and it's a it's a fantastic experience that that every angler really should treat themselves to, and especially our guys who love fishing in Southern California. 
and like the the style of fishing that so many of us like it, it just it transfers so perfect to what you guys do at Kingfisher it's like you know it's it's Southern California North you know with 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 big giant trees and and cool fish that you're catching we we love it yeah that's awesome well we sure appreciate you guys coming up and I, I can't remember how many how many years in a row has it been now for the Let's Talk Cook Up trip but it's it's been a lot. It's a it's a special place, and it's been that many years for a reason because you guys do such a great job. And you know, Doug had mentioned the same thing: the the Let's Talk Cook Up trip sometimes is difficult to get onto. It's been so many people, and so many guys come year after year, and it's a a fantastic time of year. But it's a great time to come, regardless whether you're a single or a group. And are there still opportunities to come fishing this season? Spots here or there. I mean, I know how popular Kingfisher is, but there's usually always a, a little space to slide in here or there throughout the year. Yeah, actually. Actually, um, there's a little bit uh, later in the season, uh, early to mid-September. Uh, there's there's a few trips open for maybe even one full boat, but but definitely some spots for you know twos. Um, so and that's a great time to come up and get the big silvers and and the halibut. You know, really everything um, that we catch here, except the kings. You know, so it's uh, it's it's a great time to come up. Um, so if anybody is kind of has a hankering to come up and squeeze in a trip this year, it's not too late. That's what's so unique too about Kingfisher is you know I I I I can't speak the praises highly enough. People ask me about it all the time and say the same thing. Well, what's the what's the best time of year? And you know your operation is unique in that you know when, when you're you kind of limit things to the most comfortable weather for the fishermen. And while you're open, there's always something good. And you know there's different salmon runs that happen. Different different time so there's always an influx of fish and the the bottom fishing is always great throughout the year and if you come early it's kings and if you come late it's silvers and if you come in the middle it might be a mix and it's, you know there's there's just not a bad time of year to be up there and people throw that around all the time but it's no bs with kingfisher like there, there's not a time that you guys are operational that you won't find incredible fishing yeah that's right i mean we're really fortunate here this uh, you know sitka area the outer coast just has such a a diverse and consistent fishery uh, that, yeah, you could come up in April and, and, you know, probably have a great time or, you know, even later after we close down for the season. But we do, like you say, limit it to where we're, you know, highly confident that, you know, when you come up, when we're open, it will be good, solid fishing. And the weather will probably be good, <laughs> good enough anyway. We never know about the weather any time of year here. But, um we don't we don't miss many days, uh, you know, getting out there at all, and um, and the fishing is, as you say, just uh, really consistent across across the whole season. Love it. Well, we can't wait, buddy. We're going to see you a week from today. Uh, I, again, I, I'm with you. I, I don't know how many late into the late into the 20th anniversary <laughs> we are of coming up uh, to Kingfisher, but can't wait, Seth. Thanks so much for keeping us up to date with the report. And if somebody does want to book a trip and come fishing out of Kingfisher Charters and get in on the amazing service and the even better fishing, how do we do it? Uh, well, there's a there's a link right on the Let's Talk Hookup uh, webpage to our website. That's a good way. Um, yeah, or, or just Google us or whatever, kingfisherchartersdotcom. Uh, give us a call, and uh, yeah, we'd love it uh, if someone could, you know, wanted to come up and, and get in on one of those late season trips. Uh, they will sell out for sure, um, but uh, it's just you know, one of those things where I think we had a couple cancellations, and uh, so there's still an opportunity to come up this season. Uh, and then we are taking reservations for next season, of course, uh, a lot because people are coming up now, having a great time rebooking for next year. So if you're looking to get some some really good dates and you know certain captain or whatnot next year, uh, it's it's definitely a good time to get in on that. I love it, awesome, buddy. Can't wait. Really looking forward to it. One more time, give us the phone number if somebody wants to call you and uh, get a little more information. All right, nine zero seven seven four seven six one three six. You guys are the best, Seth. Best for a reason. We sure appreciate everything, and we will see you next Sunday. All right. Thanks, Thanks a lot, buddy. guys. Looking forward to it. P- appreciate it very so much. Amazing, no, I can't wait. Dude, man. that black cod sounds amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so good. 20 pounders? It's, that's great. That's like pa- a cow cod. <laughs> right? Pa- Paul had a 25 and a 26. Oh, yeah. Come on. Bla- they were huge. I've never heard of them that big. I- I've seen I-, I-, I literally didn't know they got that big. It was really cool. That's yeah. like a lean cod. And, and it was just, yeah, it's awesome. It's such a, such a, a special amazing. place. And, yeah. Yeah, I love it for sure. Well, the phones are absolutely packed solid, and same with the text, Corey. Let's jump back into them. Let's do it. How about Rocco? Rocco calling from Arizona. Good morning, Rocco. What's up, Rocco? Good morning, guys. Um, a question for Doug on a 50-pound Wahoo slash Yellowtail outfit. Ooh. Top nice. shot or leader? And next comment is, if I am fortunate enough to win the prize today, I'd like to donate it to the Friends of Rollo. 
had the pleasure of fishing with Rollo, me and my wife, 40 years ago on a couple's trip on the RP. How great is ah, that? That's right. Yep. Cool. right on. Yep. Um, well, so you're talking about an outfit that typically would be used for, you know, a jig that's sinking out a bit, not maybe straight up and down, although the yellowtail would be like yo-yo fishing. And um, I I kind of like the little bit of stretch myself. And I remember uh, the guys on the, the full-day boats going to the Coronado Islands highly recommended that their passengers have some kind of a monofilament top shot because when you're cranking that jig that fast and a yellowtail comes screaming in and tries to grab it, a lot of times it'll rip that jig out of their mouth. Um, with that said, I mean, there are a lot of successful catches made on straight spectra with just a little piece of fluorocarbon or something like that. But, um, and, and uh, you know, maybe even a little more, some of the long-range guys do use straight spectra, but... I like uh, a top shot of at least, call it 25 yards, 75 feet. Um, you know, it'll allow you to make your cast, and when you get the bite, that little bit of stretch uh, will keep the violent bite from from ripping hooks out. It's um, a great call. Yeah, it so, is. So, uh, and you know, even from boat to boat, they'll have differing opinions, and some of the younger captains and crew members you know, have fished everything all their life on Spectra. So it's a lot more normalized now, but I'm still of the opinion that a little stretchy stretch is a good thing. I like it. Hey, Rocco, appreciate the phone call very much. Had a great text come through. It says, good morning, guys. I'm considering purchasing a big fish outfit, most likely a Talica 25. Rod-wise, I'm a longtime CalStar fan. Doug, what CalStar or Seeker rod is readily available these days that you'd recommend for Attack 25? Also, there is another brand that you like that's readily available. That's all from Mark in La Quinta. Yeah, it's a good question. Very pertinent to what we're doing right now. And, um... Uh, I would say that our most common reel for that type of fishing has tended to be the 20 because it's a little easier reel to deal with as far as level winding your line back on and the reel doesn't tip back and forth as much as a 25, although the 25 does give you some extra line capacity, probably 75 yards. Uh, we're talking 100-pound spectra here. As far as the rods go, 7 to 7.5 foot rail rods is the go-to. Uh, Calstar would be like a 770 double extra heavy would be kind of the sweet spot. Some people might go an extra heavy. Some people might go a triple extra heavy. You can also go the 775, which is a seven and a half foot rod. Gives you a little extra bend at the tip. Um, sometimes that can be a good thing. Uh, it also lets you get around people and around the corner and around the anchor a little bit easier, the longer rod. Um, the Seeker would be like a 2x4 style rod. Um, they have uh, you know, like a 3X that you can get. Um, most of these rods now are readily available. The supply chain issues that we had in the 117 boats in Long Beach Harbor, that's all but gone now. And so these manufacturers have caught up on their supply chain, and uh, we can pretty readily get all of these. I also, for a little bit more budget-minded, for an A-plus uh, quality rod, the Phoenix rods, the um, the Axis series, they make a 7 foot 2, a 7 foot 8, same thing, like a, you know, theirs might be a little different um, rating for the, the number of X's, like a triple X or an, an X3H might be the call on something like that, and again, I mean, where possible, if there's a chance for you to come into the tackle store, um, you can see the various grips. Some grips are just super beefy for the rail. Some we might have to put a piece of shrink tubing on there to keep from ripping into your hypalon when you lay it on the rail. Um, so it's always nice to see them in person and, um, you know, do the comparison one to the next to the next. Well, um, how has that changed, right? Like the yes, whole rail, totally. fighting the fish on the rail, where 20 years ago that was, like, uncool, right? No, like, you were you were a sissy if you used the rail. Yeah, and, right. And then I remember the first time I heard somebody, I think it might have been Frank, said, the rail is your friend. I'm like, no, things have changed. Right. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> but it truly, I mean, it... It, it takes that pressure off. It, you can use the boat as the lift it, as the boat's rocking. And, I mean, it really... Some of these long-range fishermen that were up in years, 60s, yeah. 70s, and 80s, would have to hand off their trophy yellowfin. But when we got into the rail rod era and you started putting the rods on the rail, they could actually have the satisfaction of 
of catching their own fish. Yeah. So that made, you know, that was a big thing. And we're not fishing necessarily IGFA, although some people do. You know, they do everything right. They don't uh, have somebody else touch the rod. And that 405-pound yellowfin world record caught by Mike Livingston, he stood on the back deck of the Vagabond for two and a half hours and turned the handle. Crazy. And his line just happened to be 100 pounds, so it tested below the 130. And, um, you know, so we do... Do still do some IGFA world record type fishing. You're bringing up like a loaded topic right there, man. We don't have enough. That's a whole other show. Oh man. yeah. But but it's okay to put it in the rod holder and sit in the chair and fight it. Yes. I okay, know. we'll leave it at that. <laughs> Good, good call, Corey. Yeah, and back, back down the boat on the fish. <laughs> well, how about another fun text? This morning, guys, a great show as always. My question is, I need to strip off the top 200 yards of 80-pound hollow spectra and add in 200 yards of multicolored spectra. Um, I have 80-pound hollow on my reel. I'm really struggling to find 80-pound hollow multicolor, um, so I need a shop to add some in. Is it possible? He's having an easier time finding solid. Is it possible? Possible to add solid to my hollow that I already have? Do you have 80 pound hollow that's in multicolor? That's all from Colin and Chula Vista. Okay, so um, on the boat we call this hook and hand. So the deckhand hooks a fish and hands it to a passenger. And uh, if Rick's going to call me the tackle guru, <laughs> I'm going to call him the connection guru. And I really want him to answer this because you'll get a much better answer on this particular question from Rick. Okay. Colin, you're, the answer is yes. Uh, yes to all of those things. And I know you asked multiple things, but, but it's kind of yes to all of them. So, uh, we do have hollow spectra in 80 pound test. Um, and we'd be happy to just do an inline splice, which would be the cleanest of connections. And we'd, we'd be happy to do so. Uh, in addition to that, we also have, um, solid spectra in multicolor, uh, from several different manufacturers, uh, Jerry Brown and Iserline and also, uh, my favorite, which is Power Pro. Um, but uh, the splice has two options. The strongest, in my opinion, would be to make a hollow loop out of the 80-pound hollow that you have on your reel, and then for us to tie a bimini twist into the solid and then loop to loop those together. That, in my opinion, is the most absolute tow your truck with it, no doubt on connection strength, period. Um, but if you don't like the knot there, it is spliceable, and we can treat it the same as mono, where we would run the solid splice spectra into your hollow and then connect it using a, a series of nail knots and a, and a little serve. Um, but that's more of like the finger trap connection, which I'm lesser of a fan of with spectra. Yes, it will hold. Yes, I'm confident enough sending you out the door with it. But since the connection is going to be down in your reel, I, I'm, a, I'm a bigger fan of the loop to loop. Let's splice a, splice a loop in the hollow. Let's tie a small bimini, cat's paw the two together. You'll hardly ever feel the thing when it's going and we'll pick a spot where it makes you know where it makes sense where you know it's going to be down 200 yards anyway so rarely the only time you'll ever see it's when a fish is ripping the line through the guides it's a small connection that goes through so that that's my favorite other than doing the first thing that you mentioned would just be to to pick a nice hollow 80 pound multicolor. let's splice those things together and you'll never even see the connection spot there's so much to it I yeah. like it. <laughs> that's, that's why I go to see you, Rick. That's right. <laughs> I like it a lot, man. It's hey, fun. We're going to be right back. We're going to find out who's won this $100 gift card when we return to Fishman's Landing Tackle, right? That's right. right. When, when we return on the Let's Talk Cook Up the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. It's time to go fishing. Hi, this is Doug Kern from Fisherman's Landing Tackle, the saltwater tackle professionals. The perfect rod to handle the toughest fish is Shimano Terramar. The secret? TC4 blank construction with tech tape outer wrap to shield the fibers from the impact damage. Make sure to match your Shimano Terramar rod with a Shimano Tranks 500. X-Ship and HEG technologies combine to provide the Shimano Tranks massive cranking power with a smooth and effortless retrieve. For all your Shimano needs, visit us at Fisherman's Landing Tackle at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. Fisherman's Landing is the top choice in local and long-range fishing. Our hard-working crew will maximize your fishing experience. We offer the finest open party trips, the best charter boats available, and our world-renowned long-range fleet. Fisherman's Landing is a full-service sport fishing operation offering great half-day, full-day, and open-party trips. Book online at Fisherman'sLanding.com. I'll see you at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. 
It's time for the Power Pro 30 Second Seminar. I like catching big fish and I like smaller reels too. How do I make sure that I have the capacity to land the big one? I fill my reels with Power Pro Max Quattro. It's 25% thinner than standard Power Pro, so you get more line on that small reel. Power Pro has a complete series of highly effective lines, including the brand new Power Pro Depth Hunter Offshore with different colors every hundred feet. Perfect for flat fall fishing. Want to learn more? Check PowerPro.com. If there's one thing we like, it's choices. And at your San Diego County Ford dealers, you can find yours with the all-new 2024 Ford F-150 and the range of powertrain options. Whether it's a gas engine with the best-in-class towing, powering up with the F-150 Hybrid and the available Pro Power on board, or the all-electric F-150 Lightning. What you choose to do with that much power is up to you. Tough this smart can only be called F-150. Visit your local San Diego County Ford dealer today. They'll be glad to hook you up. This is Captain Art Taylor from Searcher Sport Fishing. Your hook is one of the most important links to catching fish. And at Searcher Sport Fishing, we use and recommend Gamagatsu hooks. The Gamagatsu Nautilus hook is best for tuna. And now with a variety of sizes all the way down to size 4, Gamagatsu hooks are the ones to use. It's important to be prepared with the right tackle when you come aboard Searcher, so that should include Gamagatsu hooks. All right, welcome back to Let's Talk Cook Up. It's so hard to believe two hours. I already. know, dude. <laughs> so I quick. know, man. I need another two. I know. I need another two just to get in the groove, man. So There's, much fun. There are so many texts and so many great questions. And, Doug, it's always so much fun having you on here this morning. It just goes by way too fast. But we're going to find out who's going to get to come into the shop and spend some uh, spend some of that uh, shopping spree. A $100 gift card going to one lucky caller. Doug, do us the honor of that prize coin. Okay, we have oh, a, a caller. caller today. Yeah, it happens to be Alex from San Carlos. <laughs> Congratulations, no, Alex. No doubt, Alex. Nice. You're going to have a lot of spend, hundred, spend that hundred bucks. And uh, well, I hope it's me when you come in. I'm sure Doug hopes it's he and everybody else. But the uh, <laughs> one thing I can say, you're going to have a lot of fun coming in here, spending a hundred dollars at Fisherman's Lining Tackle, Doug. I don't know where two hours went to, but thank you so much. It's so much fun having you. And, uh, boy, what uh, if somebody wants to come in and get in on all this, give us the rundown, Fisherman's Landing, the, the hours, the time, the crew, the boys, the whole thing. Yep, well, obviously we're open long hours this time of year, about 5 o'clock in the morning till the last boat leaves, usually, you know, 8, 9 o'clock at night, seven days a week, every day but Christmas. And uh, the best uh, way to get in touch with us is just to come down, maybe get yourself a nice uh, lunch at one of the, the great restaurants. Restaurants right here on the docks. Squid and sandwich. Talk, two, three, four. Well, yes. You can't go wrong with that one. <laughs> talk to the boys in the shop and um, check out the boats. And then uh, you can also see us on the web at saltwatertackle.com or 619-221-8506. And uh, get out there fishing. It's great right now. That's it. And I also encourage you to follow our Instagram page. It's all it's let's it's a Fisherman's Landing Tackle Shop, all underscores in between. But uh, that's where a lot of, like, when new stuff comes in, that's how we try to get the word out a lot during the week too so well doug a, a great time having you in here and uh, i can't wait for the next one and i'll just see you back at the shop all right i'll see you in a couple <laughs> yeah. hey we had a great time with you this morning and can't wait to have you back next week next saturday as we said captain dave hansen your saltwater guide and next sunday Corey and brandon are going to be talking surface iron bass fishing and everything in between with bodan from two fish jigs going to be a lot of fun we'll see you next week on the mightier 1090 espn radio and the let's talk hook up app